Welcome, Ophi Hilfas. This is the um, Aquarian season. The season begins from the 20th of January until the 18th of February. I want to say thank you for being here. Please show your love by thumbs up, like, and share this video. Share, share, share. All right. So obvious is what we have here. What are you dealing with in this uh, um, season? The season is powerful. It's about your abundance, money, and prosperity. What we recognize is that you have all the tools within your hand to create this energy for yourself. This is going to be good. I see a lot is coming back from the past. Like um, a lot of you who are looking for a job unexpectedly, you're going to be um, ending up with a dream job. You were hoping for some sort of a dream job. And I see you're going to be ending up with a, a dream job. Now, um, then we see um, some of you dealing with an Aquarian Gemini or Libra boss. Now, um, be aware of this man. This man is working in on, on a negative energy. So be aware of this man. This man is 45 years and older, 50 years and older, working on a very, very deceptive um, um, situation. Then we see you're dealing with your boss. Some of you, if you're a boss, you're going to be making some sort of a decision in getting rid of an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libran in this period, okay? Because you recognize who this man is and what this man has done. So a lot of you who are in the power stool, the power chair, you're going to be dealing with an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra man. You recognize that this man is not... Um, his frequency is very off. So we see one and ten is eleven. Duality, 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 ophiosis. Um, so that's eleven. And four is fifteen. Um, so you have fifteen, six. Okay. So again, you have one, you have ten, and you have four. So you have fourteen and one, fifteen, or fifteen. And then you have 15, 6, 15 cross 6. Now, what that is saying is that uh, materialistic, uh, um, um, this is going to be good for you, okay? 15 and 6 you guys have. So use these energies in a very um, good way. Um, you can use them to set meeting, that sort of a thing, dates and that sort of a thing. Um, but recognize that you have the power within your end, Aquarian, um, Ophiosis, let no one take you your powers away in this um, season. And you have Mercury. Communication in this season is going to be absolutely fantastic, especially in the first week, okay? Anything you're manifesting, manifestation is going to be very high and associated with communication and timing. So this first week, use it to... Um, powerful when you're communicating and use it as I said the numbers for time it in this week it is going to be good um, aware that the ego does not create itself alone okay magician open up themselves to the magic of life so don't use the ego to manifest because it's not going to be working out for you for you ophiosis okay um, you have the ability to manifest whatever it is that you want and you can manifest this. But um, the first week is about communication and timing, okay? Communication and timing. Now, timing is about your work schedule, okay? Timing is about meetings. Timing is about how you spend your work day and how, and it's going to be going, it's going to be like magic. It's as if some of you are setting up some sort of a work schedule per week and this is going to be working like magic so this is going to be good the first week is going to be absolutely absolutely fabulous so then we have a second major account of the wheel of fortune which is another absolutely fabulous energy and this wheel of fortune is coming in and is bringing um back uh, some luck for you so the second week this week is from the 27th until the 2nd of february it's going to be powerful this is a lucky week jupiter is in this week the wheel of fortune jupiter is here for you guys and it's in this week and it's going to be absolutely fabulous and what is going to be transpiring is that with the energy of jupiter some sort of unexpected 
job offers is going to be coming in, business is going to be coming in that you least on uh, least expected. Okay, so it's as if uh, your boss is going to be shifted out of their position, and then they're going to be bringing you in. It's like unexpected things, like they ask you to go and run and uh, pay for your. Uh, transfer to go and run some sort of an organization in another place, another country. Um, your your salary, your everything is being paid for. Salary is being increased, unexpected. Um, I position position is going to be coming up. That is going to be absolutely fabulous. So, um, you know, recognize that acquiring is helping you off your sus because you share the house of the um uh, of Jupiter. Um, you have the energy of Jupiter. Jupiter is about luck and your luck is coming in in the week of the 27th going into the 2nd of February where some unexpected um, um, business opportunity or position is going to be falling in your lap and you're going to be running with this and using this to move forward and this is going to be powerful. As we look at the third week, that is the week from the 3rd of February until the 9th of February. What is transpiring? A lot of you are, are dealing with fire of water, fire of water. Now, fire of water is an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra man. This man is 45 years and older. Whoever this man is and whatever this man is, so, um, is a brilliant person, but it's not rational, okay? This person is using their brilliancy and their rational thinking in um, a deceptive way. And they're going to be recognizing this person and come down on this person because they recognize what this person have done. So whoever this man is, so is an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra. And when fire of water comes up, fire of water is that is fire of water is hurricane is, is, is um, unexpected circumstances. And this man, whoever this man is, whether it's in power has used his powers in the wrong way and they're coming down on this man. They're coming down. Um, so you Ophiosis is going to be catching this man. It's as if you have been investigating this man for a very long time. This is a, a corrupt civil servant for some of you or a corrupt person in a corporation institution and you are going to be taking down this person and it's going to be alerting this person boss as to what has been transpired and what this person has been doing. So Corruption is going to be coming up. And trust me, when air sign is in the reverse, they're really corrupt. Okay. So we're looking at civil service and anyone that has to be in civil service, they're going to be recognizing that this person has corrupt and has corrupt some sort of a situation. And they're going to be recognizing and taking down this person because I see um, people uh, in authority is backing you and taking down this corrupt person. So corruption happened in different forms. And this is someone in a high level promotion that is corrupted and they're going to be taking down this person. So fire and water, you know, fire and water doesn't go well. And this person is corrupt. Okay. And you can recognize this because you can see the energy of this person. Um, and this person have done something in the past that is being revealed in the week of uh, the third going into the ninth, and people are going to be recognizing that a civil service or someone in high professional, um, um, high professional has been corrupt in a situation and has created a whole lot of corruption, and they're going to be recognizing this. As we look at the fourth and last week, we're dealing with the energy of. Uh, um, the emperor and the energy of the emperor is uh, linked with Aries. Now, what is in the energy of Aries? So, um, the energy of Aries is uh, work, career, and it 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 is um, an Aries man that some of you are dealing with, and people are going to be recognizing that this boss or this high professional figure is corrupted. Okay associated with personal power and leadership. So I see a lot of you are going to be taking up your personal power and leadership in the fourth a week and it's going to be standing your ground and you could be standing your ground against an Aries because uh, um, the emperor is linked with the energy of the Aries. So a lot of you, this is um, 
for some of you is an Aries man it could be a boss and they're going to be recognizing that this man has been very corrupted and has corrupt a whole situation a lot of you are going to be taking back your personal power and is going to be standing your ground against some sort of a corruption in a management team that you recognize that a whole lot of people was creating some sort of a corruption in some sort of a um organization institution it could be yours it could be your company it could be your business but you're going to be recognizing this and taking the your personal power by leading in the correct way so this is absolutely fabulous um said um ophiosis i'm so happy with you go and check out the sagittarius reading also and please use the join button in order to see what is under these symbols you need to choose one or two of these symbols um whatever speak to you choose a symbol and that is going to be giving you the message what to expect coming in um for this aquarian season i gotta go but show your love by thumbs up namaste